What is up, guys? Binky49 here. We're back on the Desolation map. And I am true to my word. We're back at the mall. We're doing some mall work. Yeah. I'm excited. I have a lot of fun doing mall stuff. It really allows me to bring real life into this map a lot. A lot more than usual. So today we're doing some real life stuff. I want to show you a little bit of what I've done today. In the past few days, really. I want to work a little bit more for you and I also want to answer the question of the week the creative question Ooh, <laughs> just fell there I wanted to go right here alright so here's the grand unveiling I've got one and a half shops done so far in the second floor you wanna see it I know you wanna see it I know you've been dying to see it here we go hold on wait for it wait for it wait for it oh it's the Foot Locker okay Foot Locker is Pretty much in business. I won't say it's finished. I'll never say anything's finished, guys. Foot Locker's not done. But I got a great chunk of it for you guys to show you. So let's go get dive into this. Uh, I'm not a big shoe guy. I don't have a lot of shoes. So I don't spend a lot of time in Foot Locker. If you guys have any suggestions to help me improve this Foot Locker, then I am willing to hear it. So, you know, we got some display areas here. That would probably be shoes in there, maybe. Got a display over area over here. Some mannequins. Displaying their their sweat sh suits, <laughs> their sweat shoots, their sweat shoes. Um, <laughs> more shoes in this display. Of course, these gates will be down, but for right now, they're opened and ready to go. So let's take a gander. First thing you'll probably notice is the floor. A lot of people ask me about the floor. This floor is mushroom block. It is difficult to get mushroom block in creative mode. I don't know why it's not an option. Four J, can you shed some light on why we can't use mushroom blocks in creative mode? So basically what you have to do is go into survival or adventure, whatever you want to do, grow a big mushroom, use a silk touch tool on it, grab the, the mushroom block, save it, open it up in creative mode, and uh, then you'll have it. And you can't lose it because if you lose it, it's gone. Um, so let's see what else we got here. You'll come in here. We got some racks with shoes, I guess. I don't know. These are definitely the shoes here, a whole bunch of different kinds of shoes. These will be filled with Jordans and um, all sorts of, I don't know, like I said, I don't know about shoes. <laughs> I just wear the things, okay? Uh, we got another one of those over here. Everyone is getting, uh... <laughs> what's up everybody? We got another one over here, a lot more shoes here. I don't, I don't have a lot of places for shoes, I don't know why, I don't know. Uh, over here we got shirts, we got a lot of shirts, you know Nike stores, Foot Locker stores, they sell all these shirts on the walls. Uh, you might remember this technique from, before we go any further, let's drink the juice. You might remember this te technique from Hot Topic. There we go, now we can see a little bit better. Uh, over here we have the cashier, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, so it's a Foot Locker, guys. It's kind of sparse in here, it's going to be unapocalyzed. I need ideas, I mean it feels kind of open. Maybe some couches, places to sit. Places to sit would be nice, I think, because, you know, you got to sit down and try your shoes on. I put Foot Locker up there so you know, like, when you're in the store, you know where you are, <laughs> just in case it wasn't glaringly obvious. Yeah, so what else we got here? We'll probably put storage over here. Nothing too fancy, but, you know, can hide, hide stuff in here, you know. So, yeah, there we go. Let's see what else. Ah, uh, that's a Foot Locker. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. And that'll be, you know, filled with shoes, all sorts of shoes, leather shoes, iron shoes, chainmail, they'll be renamed, they'll have feather falling and all sorts of other enchantments on them. The more expensive ones, of course. What are these guys doing? What do they want? Party chat. Yeah, okay. So my second thing oh I've shown it to you. Oh no. Oh no, I want it to be a surprise. Oh well, that's okay. Boom! This is my other half. <laughs> this is the Victoria's Secret. Like I said, I was, I've was i done one and a half stores, so I've done the exterior. Pretty much the same concept. These are bigger plots. If you look at the plot sizes, these one, two, and three, these are going to be the largest shops in the mall. And that one's going to be sporting goods. So we're going to have underwear, shoes, and sporting goods up here. Are you guys excited? I am. So this is Victoria's Secret. Got a lot of work to do in here. I wanted to make it black on the outside, you know. Uh, I did look up, you know, various Victoria's Secret stores. They're all they're all kind of different, you know. Some of them are very colorful on the outside. Some of them are black, just like this one. So I went with black for this. It's huge, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. So, yeah, let me work on this for a little bit while I answer the creative question of the week. 
Uh, I want to thank you guys for asking me creative questions because, I don't know, it gets my juices flowing. And, uh, you know, if something gets my juices flowing, then it's going to help me build, you know? Creative exercises. Uh, how do I want to do this? This is going to be the uh, changing room over here. So let's make a little changing room. I don't want anything too... Wood? Wood's kind of uh, cabiny. You know what I mean? Maybe clay... We'll go with wood. No, but not that color. We'll go with not that color either. We'll go with that one. Uh, so today's creative question of the week is brought to us by my friend IGL Zenix. All right, thank you IGL for submitting your question. And the question goes like this: Right, a question for you, coming a little outside the box for me, but kind of came to me because of the chop shop you're building, Bean. So here it is. If you had one day where you could commit any crime without any repercussions, what would the crime be? Uh-oh. This is like uh, this is like an opposite of... Well, I guess it's a play on the last question of the week. So if I had any day to do... <laughs> a day to do any crime... Thank you, IGL, for sending me this question. My first instinct, I don't want to hurt anybody, basically. I don't want anyone to be affected by any crime I do, even if I'm going get, to get away with it. I don't think that's good. I, I don't believe in putting out negativity into this planet. You know what I mean? I don't want to harm anyone for my own benefit, okay? But he said, you know, there's no repercussions. So here's what I would do. And this would harm a lot of people, actually. But I think it's right. Uh, I would do like a Robin Hood type scenario, okay? I would do like... Uh, you know, I would steal from the rich and give to the poor, basically. I would want to try to... Make the gap between the super wealthy and the super poor. I would try to shrink that gap as much as possible. Uh, I don't believe that, you know, 1% of the population should hold 99% of the wealth. I think that's a bad thing, okay? I think that's horrible. And uh, if there's something I could do to, to stop that, that would be awesome. So my idea, IGL, if I had the day to commit a crime without getting caught, I think what I would do is... I would do like a fight club scenario. <laughs> I'd, I'd like maybe... Um, bring, no, that's not the right color. I would probably, like, f go to some major banks, like the major banks in the world, and blow them up. Uh, hopefully no one would be in there. But I'd want to, like, erase all credit records. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Bring people back to zero. Everyone starts over. That'd be cool. Of course, it hurts the people who worked hard. Um, <laughs> but it would suck. That would suck, of course. You don't want people who worked hard to be, uh, you know, to have to pay for... The mistakes of others <laughs> but um i think it would be cool i don't know see that's what i'm saying guys i i would want to help people if at all possible and the way i feel like i would be helping is uh just make the whole country middle class you know no one needs that much money guys no one if you have that much money you probably don't know what to do with it so why not you know give it to people who could use it yeah, so I'm just probably not the answer you guys were looking for <laughs> when you heard this question. But I'm sorry. You know, I'm not going to go around killing people. I'm not going to go around stealing money so I have a bunch of money. I would try to, you know, use my crime, my opportunity for crime to to make the world a better place. And I don't know if I that would be making the world a better place by stealing from the rich. Who knows? The whole economy would probably crumble. It would be my fault. <laughs> It would be totally my fault. Um, <laughs> yeah, we have an economy for a reason. But, you know, that's, uh, that's wishful thinking. It's a, all a pipe dream. Uh, right now I'm building the cashier. So I think one person, I think it was Aphaus, to answer uh, IGL's question. He said that he would go to Kanye's house, <laughs> right? I forget the exact uh, quote he said. But he would go rob Kanye's house. And, you know, I thought about that. And that might be, you know, a way to go. That's actually a pretty good idea reduce Kanye to zero. I mean, he's already morally and, you know, morally he's at zero, okay? Um, Talent-wise, he's already at zero. We just need to make his finances catch up to that fact, okay? Let me just talk about Kanye West for a moment here, guys. If I offend you, because you like Kanye West, good. Unsubscribe to my channel. You can go. I don't want you here. Kanye West is a disease on this planet. Uh, he's, he's stealing the soul of honest good people i'm i'm really into hip-hop like really into hip i'm a hip-hop head for the last 20 years i've been listening to hip-hop 
And before Kanye came around, there were some bad artists, obviously. There's always bad artists. Artists who are on the radio and who get a bunch of play on the radio all the time. But Kanye changed everything. It was a, it's a whole new level of garbage. Straight garbage. I will say this about Kanye West. As a beat maker, he is not bad. Uh, he, you know, he... <laughs> I get so I get so emotional when I talk about Kanye West guys. You have no idea. He he's he knows where to steal his samples from. He picks good samples. He's not the most creative, unique person. He doesn't make his own sounds for the most part, but he picks good things to sample. So that, he's got that going for him. As a lyricist, Kanye West could be the dumbest person in the entire world of hip hop. I mean that with every ounce of my being. His lyrics are, I don't want to swear because I <laughs> keep this PG, guys, but his lyrics are retarded. He says some things that I can't believe a human being would even ever say. I just, I don't understand it. Uh, lyrically, he's, he's got the mentality of a kindergartner. Uh, and people celebrate him for his lyrics. Oh, did you hear that? Con oh, my God. When people praise Kanye... It makes me so sad. There are so many good artists, guys. Artists who have struggled to, to make good music for, for decades. And they're not known because, um, you know, they don't have the connections that Kanye has. You know, they, they haven't made themselves... They haven't made an, an ASS of themselves in the public limelight like Kanye has. Kanye is a smart guy. He knows there's no such thing as bad publicity. He, he loves that we're talking. He loves that I'm talking bad about him right now. He loves it. Because or else no one would be t saying anything about him. That's how, that's how uh, irrelevant he is. <laughs> no one would be talking about him if he didn't make a complete ASS of himself on a daily basis almost. I don't know why I got started. Oh, man. <sighs> just, just thinking about Kanye West. I'm, already, I'm in a bad mood now, guys. A really bad mood. <laughs> Why did I start talking about Kanye? As you can tell, I have some very strong opinions about it. He's destroying hip-hop. He says, oh, he's the savior of hip-hop. He is destroying hip-hop music. It's a joke that he has, that he's not working at 7-Eleven. That is a huge joke to me. I don't get it. I don't understand why he's not selling lottery tickets. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. Guys... Don't, uh, if you're an aspiring artist of any kind, do not look up to Kanye West, okay? Please, please, I'm begging you. He is not a role model. He is the opposite of a role model. He is a person of low intelligence who, I, what I mean by that is IQ. I mean, he's smart. He's a good businessman. He knows how to make money. I'll give him that for sure, for sure, because he's not making money because of his talent. That's for damn sure. Oh, he is, but he's prying on people who don't know any better. That's what he's do doing. Did I say prying? <laughs> he's preying on people who just don't know any better, okay? So, I think we're going to wrap it up. I didn't get anything done today. I started ranting and raving about Kanye West. Oh, man, I'm sorry, guys. I just, I just hate the guy. And I don't hate anybody or anything. I'm not a hateful person. But if there is one person on this planet who I can say that I truly hate, and it's nothing personal, I don't, I've never met the guy, i never talked to him, but I hate what he stands for and what he's representing and what he puts out into this world. He's putting out just filth, vile, vile filth, racism, blatant racism, ignorance, complete ignorance, that, that way up I've been blessed song. Let me talk about one more thing before I go. I'm in the Bay Area, and... um. The, recently, the Warriors won the NBA Finals, and through their run of the Finals, Steph Curry, the point guard, was bringing out his daughter, his cute little, two, what, like two month, like she could barely speak. Okay, she's like two years old or whatever she is, and he's bringing her out in this press conference, and the daughter gets up on the microphone and she starts singing. The cutest little girl starts singing, "Way up, I feel blessed." I'm like, wow, this girl is, you know, pretty cute. Whatever. What song is she singing? I looked it up. It's a Drake and Kanye song and some other people. Some of the most ignorant lyrics I've ever heard. Basically, it's four minutes of them saying, pretty much, the Kanye included, saying, the way to, to acquire happiness is through owning possessions, through money and possessions. 
And that's how you're going to be a good person. Basically, that's the gist of the song. Is That's how you're going to find happiness. The only way you're going to find it is by being blessed with all these material possessions. Now, what gets me upset is not that this song exists. There are people that actually believe that in this world. I understand that. There's a lot of idiots in this world, guys. I believe that. What I don't understand is why these idiots are playing this song for their de still developing daughter. Why would you play Kanye West for a small child? That... That kid is going to be rich. She's Steph Curry's daughter. She's going to be rich. And she's going to have these ideas in her head brought to you by Kanye West that, you know, with all this money that she has from her dad, she needs to, to spend it on herself to, to have a happy life. That's what she's going to grow up thinking. And that's pretty much the most irresponsible. That child should be taken from her parents, in my opinion. That child should be stripped from her parents and taught that life is about... Spreading love, giving and receiving love, and making this world better for everyone. It's not about making this world better for you. <sighs> Man, what a horrible, horrible message. If you enjoy Kanye West, please unsubscribe from my channel right now. I'm not even joking. Leave. <laughs> Just leave. I don't want you here, and uh, I don't care for you <laughs> personally. <laughs> That's how strong I feel about it. I'm not going to say any more. Okay, I've, I'm done ranting, guys. I gotta get a rant out every once in a while. It's it's in my nature. Okay, so the rant is over for today. Okay, uh, it was a long video, but we're done here. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with my rants. The mall is coming along. We didn't do much mall work today, but we're gonna we're gonna work some off camera and bring you an update very soon. So thank you guys for for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing and subscribing and unsubscribing if you like Kanye West. Um, I like a few of his songs, actually. Like I said, he's a great producer. He makes good beats. So if you like his music, don't take that personally. If you like him and what he stands for, then go, you know, go to hell. <laughs> okay, I'm out. Peace. Bye. Peace.